Hi, I'm Sweet Sylvanians and I make videos about Sylvanian families, also known as Calico Critters. Today, I'm opening the latest series of Sylvanian Families Blind Bags, which is the Baby Seashore Friends series. These were first announced back in February, and I actually made a video on them then. The series was then released in Japan in April, and I had speculated it would be next year when the rest of the world got these, so I'm very glad we didn't have to wait nearly as long as that, and they released just a few months later in the UK and USA. I found a full box of these at the supermarket Tesco, and I heard that each side of the display box contains a full set of eight, so I decided to try out that theory by buying one whole side, and I hope it will give me the entire series of babies. This is what the bags look like in the UK, with all the figures on the front, on the back is just safety information with the text. I wish it was the same as the Calico Critters version, which have all the names of the babies on the back, but it doesn't really matter. And here's a close-up of all the figures. If I don't manage to get a complete set, I'd still really like to get Jason in his lobster costume, and Jack with the crab, and Ryan Persian too. So let's get the first one opened. And it's Sophie Snow. Here she is in the packaging, and let's take a quick look at the leaflet. It's the same images as on the front of the bags. Then we have a picture of the baby mermaid castle, and some other sets from Amusement Land. And on the other side is each of the figures, with a checkbox beside them to tick off the ones you've got. So I will get Sophie out. And here she is. Her dress is made of a pink satiny fabric with a lace overlay, and if I lift that up you can see the scalloped edge. Next is her accessory, I'll just get that out of the packaging. It is a little blue bag in the shape of a fish. So that goes on Sophie's arm like so. And here she is. On to bag number two. I'm cutting that open. Bit of a struggle to get this one out, but it's Jack Splashy, which is one of the ones I definitely wanted, so yay. Another leaflet. And here he is in the packaging. Oh, and he's in another plastic bag, so let's get that open too. So Jack is a newborn sized baby from the Otter family. In this version he's wearing a yellow wrap, which has a scalloped edge too. And his accessory is what I really wanted, which is a little orange hat in the shape of a crab. It has legs at the sides and the claws on top. And oh, it fits so perfectly onto the baby. That is definitely not going to fall off. Although it is a little trickier to balance him upright with the hat. There we go. Onto the third bag. There's definitely something in there, it's making a dull rattling noise. And it's Ryan Persian. So another leaflet for the pile. And here is Ryan in the plastic packaging. And opening that as well, having longer nails is very useful. Okay, so Ryan is in a slightly different outfit than usual, if you can tell, it's a little baggier. And rather than legs at the bottom, there's just an elastic cuff. 
It makes the legs especially have a fair bit of excess fabric. I'm not sure about this style. But to compare, here's Milo Cake Bread wearing the usual romper in the same colour. It fits him much better, and you can see the difference at the bottom too. Usually there's more of an open back style, but Ryan's completely covers him. And then from the sides, Ryan looks so much bigger <laughs> due to his outfit. Looking at the packaging, I think Ryan looks slightly different, but, but maybe I'm just imagining things. Anyway, enough of that, onto his accessory. Which is a backpack in the shape of a turtle shell. It is hollow. And I'm just going to bend the straps a little to make it easier to put on. But I just noticed this green stain on the straps. And, and it doesn't seem to rub off. I think this will be hidden, but it's still an annoying small defect. Okay, on to Ryan this goes. It's a bit difficult with all the excess fabric from his outfit. But there we go. Now it's on, I guess the outfit doesn't look as baggy. It's mostly folded at the back. But let's pop him next to Jack. And move on to bag number four. Something rattling in there too. Not quite as dull as Ryan's bag, so perhaps it's something smaller? Maybe the husky and wand? Or a duplicate of Sophie? Hopefully not, but let's find out together. Oh okay, yay! It's a Fennec Fox baby, which is the mystery figure. So I was kind of right that it was something small rattling. Both the pieces are in their own little bag, so let's get this baby out. figure is wearing a silky purple outfit. The Fennec Fox newborns are different colours. And this one is the same as the pale baby in purple, which is Ali Fennec. Yeah, they're definitely the same one. I think this means that Ali maybe has purple as his favourite colour. But let's put him down and get this crown. It's all one piece of gold plastic, with a tiny star in the front. And there's also small raised dots around the sides, which I assume are meant to be gemstones. I bet if you had very steady hands you could paint these for more detail. Anyway, I'll slot that over his ear. Actually, I'll do the right one as that's what's on the packaging. And ta-da! He looks so sweet! And here he is compared to the outline on the leaflet. I just want to see if this crown works on any other babies, so here it is on Sophie Snow. That's cute. But I think it's best on Ali. Okay, on to bag number five. That's kind of a dull noise too. Maybe it's a large whale from this baby? And cutting the bag open. It's Ampolsky. Another leaflet. Now that's interesting. She doesn't come with her outfit on. Oh, and the rattling is actually her rather than the accessory. Anyway, let's get these out. And here's a quick look at Amber. But I want to look at this outfit. So it's a blue circle skirt with a scalloped hem again and then a piece of lace laid over the top. No idea why it wasn't put on to start with, so I'll get Amber dressed instead. And bring that pink elastic over her head. A little tricky. And I'll straighten out her skirt. Oh, I think that looks so lovely on her. Blue is so nice with her grey fur. It is a little bulky at the back, where the edges of both fabrics are sewn together. It almost looks like she has a tail pushing it out. But anyway, a very cute outfit. As for her accessory... I remember the Japanese translation called it a fish stick, but we now know it's a magic wand. 
It is all one piece of pale pink plastic with a fish on the top and a heart shaped hole at the bottom which is for the baby's hand to go through. It's a little bit flexible too rather than hard plastic but let's give that to Amber. Oh she looks perfect, the pink one matches with the elastic and the pink in her ears. On to the next bag. This one doesn't rattle at all. Um, I'm not sure which one this could be. Ah, it's the periwinkle baby. Leaflet as usual. And let's get him out of the plastic. Just like Jack Splashy, he's in another bag. And just comparing him to Jack, you can see they have the same outfits, but this one is in blue. And if I get my other periwinkle newborn, we can tell that this one is Owen, who has open eyes and a closed mouth. The one on the left came in the triplets baby bath dine set I opened in a recent video. On to the accessory. It comes very well wrapped up. And the splash is a separate piece. And from the instructions on the leaflet, it just looks to slot in the top. So here is the whale boat. It has a kind of steering wheel inside. And the water splash can be twisted around. And Owen just fits in there like that. Oh, that looks very sweet. Like he's in a proper little boat, just shaped like a whale. Okay, definitely something rattling in there. Hopefully it's one I haven't got. Maybe it's the lobster or the otter with a bag? And it is the otter, yay, yeah, that's right. And that's another one I haven't got yet. So here is the baby. It's Sandy Neptune and she's wearing another baggy romper, but in purple this time. Yeah, it's just like the one Ryan Persian's wearing. And I do actually have another Santa Neptune. This other one is the mystery figure from the Baby Treats blind bag series. And she has a Sinclair outfit on, just in the usual more fitted style. But what's interesting to me is that the new Seashore one is a lot darker. Yeah, there's a definite colour difference between the two. Hmm, wonder why they've changed the colour. Anyway, let's open Santa's accessory. It's a little pink bag in the shape of a shell. The strap can't move a lot, but it's still flexible. And here it is compared to the other bag. Sophie's is definitely a handbag, whereas the shell one has a longer strap. So the instructions say to put it over her legs rather than the head, so that's what I'll do. I sped this up, but it took me the best part of a minute or so to get this bag past all of the fabric. Um, hopefully it's not just me who struggled with this, especially as these toys are aimed at children. But there we go, here is Sandy with her little bag. It's solid and doesn't open up, but it is a nice accessory, if a little bit simple. Okay, last bag. Jason is the one I really wanted at the start, so will I get him? There's definite rattling. Could it be his gloves and headband against each other? And yay, it is Jason. The final leaflet, and time to free him from the plastic prison. So here is Jason Osborne. His outfit is different to any of the other figures. It's basically a shiny orange fabric with elastic at the top and bottom. And then there's a tail at the back. It's a little folded over, but there. And the tail is in a different softer fabric. Again, his outfit is a little bulky, so I'm just going to straighten him out. Oh, and the fabric is the same as Ali Fennec's outfit. Um, it's also the same as Sophie's too, I just didn't show the next one another. But on to the main reason I wanted Jason, which is his accessories. Oh, they're so cute! Okay, so first off is the headband. It is orange and kind of flexible. There are little black eyes and some antenna. 
I don't know much about sea creatures, but I think that's the right word. Then there are also these gloves in the shape of lobster claws. They are so adorable. They're hard orange plastic and dinky with holes at the bottom for Jason's paws to go into. So let's get him dressed up. First the headband. And then each of the claw gloves. Um, just checking which way up they're supposed to be. Yeah, I got that right. And there. Oh, he looks so silly, I love it. And here is all of them lined up. My favourite is definitely Jason, but I like Amber Husky in her unique outfit. And the Mystery Fennec Baby too. Actually, I like all of them. Um, this, I think, is one of the best blind bag series, up there with the Magical Baby series, I think, for me. These are all eight leaflets. And uh, here is the pile of packaging, which is a lot. Um, I'm not sure how they could make these more environmentally friendly. Maybe not having all of the extra plastic bags inside the actual bag. But anyway, yeah, I'm glad to have them all, and it's good to know that the box trick works too. Do you have any of this series? Which ones are your favourites? Let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful if you're trying to find particular figures in this series. And if you want to see more Sylvanian videos and news, then subscribe to my channel.